All right, the person who laid the foundation for basketball players everywhere to leave school early is finally getting his due. Spencer Haywood lives in Las Vegas. He's an all-star, Hall of Famer, and made it possible for today's one and duns. All he ever wanted to do was play basketball. He was good. Even as a teenager, he was on the 1968 Olympic team. We're very unique because we had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Elvin Hayes, Wesley Unsell, and those guys boycotted the 68 Olympics. And that's when they elected an, an 18 year old and says, you're gonna save America. And I was like, me? Spencer's mom picked cotton in the South and money was scarce. So he left to play professional basketball. Rules at the time said you had to have four years of education before you could play in the NBA. Spencer challenged the rule and was treated like an enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an illegal player on the floor, number 24, and he must be escorted off the ground in which this arena set on because we serving him with an injunction right in the middle of this floor. After a stint in the old ABA, Spencer left for the NBA. He moved to Seattle. League official Rod Thorne was a player coach at the time. You could see the talent when he practiced with us, but he wasn't allowed to play for, you know, for a period of time. How far reaching does the hardship rule or now the Spencer Haywood rule reach? Well, out of nearly 500 NBA players, there are only a handful that have actually stayed through their senior seasons. Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, all of those guys are now saying, hey, thank you, Spencer Haywood, for making it possible for me and my family to get out of poverty. He's a pioneer for all these kids. They can thank Haywood for the opportunity to leave school early because he fought the Supreme Court and won. Uh, I'm thankful for him. I'm thankful that he did that. Um, you know, I'm thankful that he paved the way, uh, you know, a number of years ago and, and went through everything that he had to go through. So guys like me and, you know, everyone else can have the opportunity to leave, you know, early and, you know, fulfill our, our, our lifelong dreams. All right, now Spencer Haywood's docudrama on his battle victory will premiere this Sunday at Mandalay Bay. It's called Full Court. It's a powerful docudrama that shares a strong message about the guy who just wanted to play basketball. Dwayne Clark, by the way, the man be behind trying to bring basketball back to Seattle, is financing the project along with True Productions. Hey, what a day in Trude, Scotland for Phil Mickelson, who has a three-shot lead over Patrick.